Here we are in one of the outer suburbs of Melbourne, Victoria, on a two megawatt commercial solar project. One of the most important things with jobs of this size is preparation and taking into account the logistics of the site. When it came to the feet and the rail, everything was prepared on the ground and then craned up onto the roof in large wooden crates. The amount of racking was a little over five kilometres and it consisted of two different forms, both energy tilts and one was a tripod system, which is a bit structurally stronger than the standard system. And this was used for the sections of the array that were near the edge. On some of the racking, you can see the spacing of the legs was every second rib. And that's because this area is incredibly windy. Now we're approximately 15, 16 metres above the ground. And as you go higher up, the wind, it starts to get windier. We're using the Trina Tallmax panels. They're 450 watts each. There is 4,446 of them. So we're talking about a system of a little over two megawatts. That's right, two megawatts on a roof. There's 20 solar edge inverters. Now each of these solar edge inverters is connected to a 160 amp AC isolator usually in 50 or 70 mil copper flex. And from those AC isolators, they're going into a molded case circuit breaker, also of 160 amp capacity. On this job, we use DC combiner boxes, and there's 20 of them in 316 stainless steel enclosures. The cabling from those combiner boxes consisted of 50 mil, 70 mil, and 95 mil copper flex obviously take into consideration the volt drop scenario as well, trying to keep that under 2%. So one of the things on these big jobs is the repetitive nature of a lot of tasks. For example, cable tying of DC cable to cable tray, that can go on for weeks and weeks. So the project supervisor has to be really aware that a worker who's doing this task doesn't get disillusioned, it is very repetitive, it is mentally draining, and you need to identify when someone's getting a little bit tired and they need to go and swap their tasks. Obviously within the confines of the economic reality of getting that job done on time. 